Rob, a big performance from your hatters today, but unfortunately no points. Uh, assess that performance. I think it's the best performance that I've ever had as a, as a manager or a head coach from any one of my teams. Um, that's how good I think it was. I thought the players were, were amazing today, Deck. Um, goals change people's perceptions a little bit of the game. Because we went 3-0 down, people, mate, not our fans, our fans, they'll get it, they'll see it, the ones that were here will understand, the ones watching will understand, but because we went 3-0 down, people might have a perception, oh, well, they didn't get going until later on. But we got going straight away today. We were just up against a team where brilliant individuals and in certain moments today, whether it was a little bit of a mistake from us or a little bit of quality, you end up 2-0 down at half time. But we were, we were excellent. Um, really aggressive in our press, really brave with the ball, took the ball. Hard in the final third to create too much in the first half. You know, they've got world-class defenders there and they, they were able to, to just snuff things out, deal with the set pieces and deal with our threat. Um, tweaked one or two things obviously at half time. Not, not positionally, but, um, but obviously putting different people in certain places. We didn't feel we needed five defenders on today. We thought we could be brave and they more really had a front four, so we went to four defenders and then moved Chongi obviously higher, so it was almost take a defender off, get another attacking player on. Felt Chio could have a, an impact on the right hand side. I thought the subs had a real impact in the game. We had the ascendancy when we conceded the third, and that was the frustrating bit because that third could be avoided as well. Um, but and when, when there could have been a little bit of a lull because the supporters think, right, it's 3 0, it's Chelsea, the game's done today. These lads keep going. They keep going. And they found a way to get back in the game, um, keep the ascendancy, and then really start creating chances. And it was, in the end, it was wave after wave and chance after chance. Um, and that was really exciting to see. I thought we were really entertaining. I thought we were really good with the ball. Had more of the ball than Chelsea. And that's, I mean, come on, that's growth, isn't it? That's us improving. Um, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant pressing, really brave. The, the back three, along with Thomas, all of those, because they have to go 1v1. But to go 1v1 on the last line against top players, world-class players, that's brave. Uh, Ted and Gabe Amari there to go 1v1 against those players, you know, that, that's it's really, really special. Um, so lots, lots to like today. But we've been here before where we've, you know, come away with, um, with nothing against, um, you know, a, a team that's, you know, won the Premier League countless times, Champions League and all that sort of stuff. You know, they're, they're a big, big football club. And, um, but to, to see where we've come from game two against them to here now, I think just shows the, the, the growth in the players, the belief in the players. Um, it, I think hopefully it, it allows everyone to believe that we're going the right way about our business and we're moving the right way. And I'm really looking forward to the second half of the season. I was going to touch on the reverse fixture and the progress between them. How much does it show the progress that you can be brave with those half-time changes? It does, and, and I get look. It, January can be an unsettling time now, approaching, and there's there's lads I know that want to play and want to play more. And the hardest bit of my job is picking a, is picking a team. We've got because you know there's going to be half the squad then that's disappointed, and um, I can't change that. That's that's just human nature. But what we've got to do is stick together, and when you get your opportunity, take it. The lads did that today, training really, really hard every single day. That's how you get your opportunity, and um, really pleased with the impact that the subs made today. Carlton did it, you know, against Sheffield United and got us a couple of uh, assists in the day and helped us change the game in the right way. I think if you ask me and you, will have different opinions. It's hard to name your our, our best best team now because we've got different people for different situations and they've got different qualities. Some are better pressers, some might be better technically. And, and we've got to try and use them in the right way. And um, we needed today, Johnny, we needed Chio to come on and influence and impact the game, and they did that. Um, so, yeah, it's, 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 it's so much growth from, the, from the, the, the first game against them to now. We've got a brilliant squad of players, a squad, a team um, that we're going to need, and we're going to need all of them. And, um, you know, we, I think consistently through this season, the subs have had an impact. And I think, you know, it, that's been really evident, whether it's been with di directly with goals or assists or an impact with energy and quality. Um, and we had another one there today. You've mentioned how much of a positive performance it was and still a six point week as well. How do you take all these positives into 2024? Um, well, keep working the way we are. 
and we, look, today wasn't perfect. We know that we conceded three goals. We, you know, we made a mistake for the first. Second was a brilliant bit of skill. I'll be able to look back at it and trace it back to where we could have avoided it though. And then the third one, clearly we could be better in that moment. Um, but we've got to keep trust in what we're doing now. We, we've got, like I've said this a number of, for the last few weeks, where we've got a really good blueprint. We, we we get the league. We understand the physical demands of the league. We 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 growing with the ball as well and, and from an in-possession point of view, uh, looking better and better every single game. Continue to be a threat from set pieces, we've got to keep working hard on those and valuing that. Um, so all of the things that we're working hard on continue to, the areas we know we need to fix and brush up on, work hard on those as well. Uh, and keep believing, keep the confidence levels high. Um, I hope, I think all the people watching here today will believe, they'll see the, the growth in the team. Um, they'll like what they're seeing from their football team, that's why they're standing up and, and giving that applause again at the end. And I can't thank them enough for that, because their support, that's what I said it at the very beginning of the season, that's what's unique about this football club and us as Luton Town. You know, we all understood it was going to be a tough challenge this year, but I think everyone's proud of that group of players today. And it was such a brilliant 2023. What's your final verdict on the last 12 months? <sighs> yeah, but look, there's been uh, you know, so many, so many highs, which is unique and rare you know normally in football there's probably a few more downs and ups we've had some emotional moments and um, you know especially in the last few weeks as well um, but overall just got a, a, a love and affection for this football club and we've got such a unique bond that's you know up and down the country the 92 clubs in the top four divisions I don't think there'd be many who have a unity like we do and have have had a journey like we have. No one's had the journey like we've that we've had, and um, that's what makes us special. It makes this year special. Let's go and attack 2024.